Hello everyone and welcome to another Daily Illini Sports Update. I'm Torrance Sir alongside my colleague Sam Sherman and it's been a while, man. Yeah. It's been a while. Yeah, no, uh, back back to it and uh, a, a pretty pretty um, fun way to come back to it with yeah. an Illini win. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Dwayne, the Illini defeated the Purdue Boilermakers 66 to 57. Much needed win. Definitely. Much much needed and a, I mean a pretty um, you know they they didn't shoot uh, Illinois didn't shoot particularly well throughout no. the game, but you know uh, besides that, they, they really put it together. and they, I think for the most part, this is one of the more, despite the kind of poor shooting percentages, one of the more complete games that right. they put together for a win. Um, you know, obviously, uh, we've seen them kind of go through these, where they've had, go through these games where they've had great first halves, mm -hmm. but they haven't had the, you know, ability to then close those games out for right. wins, and that's really been a problem. So I think that they're pr probably pretty happy to see um, and the coaching staff especially, and even the team, just to see we can close out, out right. these games and um, you know, if you if you put that effort effort across, you but, also yeah. you also notice a couple of lineup changes as well. Yes. Um, Aaron Cosby, in case you guys don't notice, uh, he's out one to two weeks, just out of nowhere with a eye injury he sustained yeah. when they played Northwestern. Mm -hmm. So he's needs surgery for it. So that's going to take some time. In which uh, Leron Black earned his first collegiate start. Yeah, yeah, he did, and and he took full advantage oh, of it. Oh yeah. Uh, finishing with uh, let's well, let's see here, fifteen points and thirteen, 13 rebounds. rebounds. And, uh, his uh, double double, which it's his first start, first double, first career double double. Savage is back. Yeah, he's back, <laughs> and, and he plays with such an aggression that's that sometimes we've seen this year actually hurt him a little bit. Um, only be only with some fouls that he's right. had, but for the most part, I mean, he finished with four fouls. Nobody fouled out in this game, um, which I think that there was good to see. Right. Um, you know, but just you know, he he was able to kind of control the fouls for, for the most part, and he just went out there and and showed. What that aggression can really do when, you know, when everything goes all right. And uh, Matt Painter, Purdue's coach, spoke mm -hmm. real highly of him. He did, yeah. I mean, he was saying that he was the best. He, Painter called um, called Black the the best player on the court, uh, and he he even went as far as to say that it wasn't even close. Right. Um, you know, he said that he was really playing harder than any uh, any Purdue player, uh, anybody on his own team, and, and usually if you hear an opposing coach say that, yeah. well, your own team's probably got some problems, but, <laughs> but uh, you know, on a, a happier note, it, you know, I think that's definitely a pretty big confidence boost for, for the freshman, right. Leron Black, who really just, um, you know, showed what he can what he can do. Right, and also another big storyline, Nana Egu, fourth-year senior, blocks record. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Passing Deion Thomas, the all-time great, most blocks in Illinois history, and mm -hmm. Oftentimes, you know, you talk about Egu, a lot of people kind of, you know, get on his back about shooting too many threes, threes. but what he does on defense is just, oh. that doesn't show all the way on the stat sheet. And, you know, people might say now, well, like, he, he shoots all these threes, blah, 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 all this kind of stuff, or, or maybe he doesn't have a good enough an off offensive game. But wait until, you know, next season when, when Egu is not there, is that kind of security blanket down low in, in the post when when there's there very well could be some big defensive troubles with this team right. next year. I mean, obviously you're going to be getting – Darius Paul and, and things some more height, but it, it could be an issue. So I think that when fans will really start to appreciate what Egu's done, obviously breaking the the all-time blocks record tonight. Um, when they when he, they're without him, they might see how you know how important he really was to this team. Right. Like so, you don't know what you got till it's gone. Yeah, I know, right? That's, <laughs> yeah. that's always the saying. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah. They play Minnesota next on the road. Yeah. And you know how this Illini team is on the road, playing those tough games. Uh, any early prediction? Well. I think that uh, this game was so important for them. Uh, it didn't really matter who the opponent was. The fact that, I mean, they're in conference play now and, and they had had these issues of closing these games. They did it um, against a Purdue team that had the size. Um, you know, they, they're, not, they're not a bad team. They're, they're a pretty solid team out there. Um, and to, to play, you know, what you're, supposed, you're supposed to win at home. You're supposed to play hard at home. They did. They won. I think that's going to give them that confidence to go to Minnesota. Um, I think that you know it's going to be that that game will be a great test. What are you going to? What can they take from this game? Um, so I think early predictions. I, I'm not sure that they're they're going to get a, a win in a, in a tough place at a, you know a tough arena um, where Minnesota plays. Um, that being said, I, I wouldn't be surprised if they could come out with with a spark, especially because I'm I'm sure that uh, Black will start again and he'll bring that aggression. Right. And um, you know from there, this is a team that's really battled through in, a lot of injuries this year and a lot of. A lot of uh, you know players who haven't been able to play, and um, some disappointments with some of these the transfers and things like that. But despite all that, you know, they got a nice win here tonight against right. uh, Purdue. Sounds good, man. That just about wraps things up, folks.
For myself, alongside my colleague Sam Sherman, I am Torrance Surreal, and we will see you soon.